Got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Damn good show. I believe, I can't believe this happened in the city of Phoenix, Arizona. What happened? They had this event where you could just get on the public transportation and in your underwear. What? Well, like bring up the website. Well, I'm gonna explain it to you. What? What makes sense? You gotta have clothing. What's the difference between getting on a um on a um train in your underwear? The difference between a, a bathing suit. Kevin, if I get on like public transportation, just my underwear, you can see all my nuts. You can see the imprint of my schlong just hanging on my left leg because that's where I like to lay it, what on kind, my left leg. What kind of underwear are you wearing? Boxer briefs. I got boxer briefs. You got some tidy whities or something. No. You can see your nuts. Your, the, the, hey, your, Kevin, wear your boxer briefs and just go into a store and look how everybody looking at you. You can see your nuts hanging right there. Because mean you got some good full nuts. Man, nothing, and then nothing. you gonna have the schlong hanging, and then you gonna see that big old head that's on it. That's yeah. inappropriate. Like bring up the website. What's I'm gonna the read difference it. between a woman walking with her half her boobs hanging out? It's the same thing. That's all all boobs are is a is a woman's te testicles. Shut up. Bring the article up. Okay, this is the event. Your guide to Phoenix, no this pants. This is the event, Keith. You believe in freedom, right? Do you believe in freedom or you don't? <laughs> you either believe in the Constitution or you don't. Hey, Kevin, let me read this. No, you, you start no, to leave the like Constitution. I'm calling you out, man. Liberal Keith, man. Just go ahead and let everybody know you're a progressive, man. Hey, bring up the article. I'm the progressive. He's the one wearing the pride flag. Sound like, you sound sus to me. Sus? You sound sus. <clears throat> let me read the article. Okay, go back up to the top and read the title first. Set, I'm going to set it all up. Yeah, your, that, that, that looks crazy right there. <laughs> your guide to the Phoenix No Pants Light Rail Ride 2024 on Sunday. Well, this is a gay event. Hey, Kevin, shut up and let me read, man. Go back up. Revealing everything to know about the return of Metro Phoenix's, Phoenix's uh, infamous pants-free event. All right, let me do some reading. That dude in the middle right there with his fingers up, holding the peace sign. Go back up a little bit. He got on the shirt. Take it off. That dude is... That dude is toxic gay. Yeah. That's what you call toxic. See, that's, see that picture right there? See how his, his hair is hanging out at the bottom, got hair shooting up at the top? That's inappropriate. <laughs> I mean, that white girl looks what's good. That, Keith? That, what? hey, that Keith? black girl, she hey, looking good. Hey, Keith, what's the but look at the dudes, hey, man. Keith, what's the difference having a beard, having chest hair, having armpit hair? That's inappropriate to some people. It all depends on the person's perspective. I'm going to read this. That's Kevin. all it, us, that's what it, that's, that's what it depends on. Man. All right, you need to calm down. Let me read this. After a four-year wait, Valley residents have an excuse to take their pants off in public again. Phoenix's, Phoenix, Phoenix's No Pants Light Rail Ride returns this weekend for the first time since 2020. As the name of the event implies, it involves locals hopping aboard Valley Metro Rail without any pants, skirts, or shorts on. Participants are dressed in underwear, tops, and shoes, though. The infamous event equals equal parts flash mob and urban prank is scheduled for Sunday. It's one of Phoenix's unique and cheeky events, earning its underwear-clad participants stares, glares, and smiles from onlookers or fellow light rail passengers. During its original run, it was also quite popular. I had enough of this. I'm going to show you all the video. Somebody's it's filming. probably homeless, a dope phone. Shut up, Kevin. Hey, whose phone keep beeping? <laughs> this is bugging me, too. All right, let's go to the video. Yep, bunch of homos. <laughs> That's some furries right there. A bunch of homos and fairies. <laughs> Man, they got dress shoes on. Yeah, what? Yeah, this is a red flag. No, this Kevin, this is not cool at all. It's like kids on there, Kevin. This is for the public to see. I agree, man. Look I at agree. the bus stop. Yeah, you know what these people are, right? What? Homos. Homosexuals. This is the day they could be lewd and lascivious. How much you want to bet there was some puddles of semen around that, too? 
I got 500 on how much you bet? <laughs> I bet you there's all kinds of puddles of semen. I bet you got condoms filled with semen tied off in no, your face. No, them people. Okay, pause it. Pause that. See, that's a little kid right there. Yeah, that's. Uh, Look at this underwear. It's got fetish on it. It's got a zip on it, too. Yeah, so you can unzip. Yeah, he gets unzipped. Yeah, he gets unzipped. He gets sucked off. Yeah, right by the kid. See, a real man gets slided over. Yeah. You see, the gay people, they got to have a little zip action. Go to the next image. It's another image. Yeah, I don't want no zip around close to my junk. Look at that, that kid's right there. Hey, did right you next hear to what nuts. I just said? What? I wouldn't. Who? You can't be that bright having a zipper that size uh, close to your junk. <laughs> You're just asking for it. Yeah. It's, it's you know another what? image. You know what? Won't you shut up? Let me show the next image. He got what's coming to him. Oh, he's got what's coming he to him. He got what's coming to him. Oh, he's got what's coming to him. Yeah, he got what's coming to him. Okay, that's the next image. See, that's two little kids right there. And look at this woman. Oh, look. she in the underwear too. That's why she's smiling. Yeah, what's the purpose of those heels? Just letting everybody know that you want to get packed. That's why, because that's a dude right there. <laughs> yeah, homosexuals, man, they are dick just. Hey, yeah. can I say something? Yeah. Can I say something? You go and say it. Do I have your permission? Yeah. From what I can see, from my point of view, huh? from me looking from the outside, inside, <laughs> from me looking through the window, if I was a fly on the wall, I'm starting to think that homosexuals can be a detriment to society well, if they go unchecked. You gotta keep a tight leash on you them. You gotta keep them on tight leash. Yeah. You need to keep because it. they have no boundaries. Well, you can say that they have no edge to anything. Man. Not a boundary, not an edge to sight. All right, let me if say they something. Go, if they have the power to take it, they're gonna do it. Yeah. You need to put boundaries on straight people too, because straight people do crazy stuff too. Like what? Like prostitutes. That's Standing those, on the corner. That's those dressed discussion. promiscuously. Well, it's at night as kids asleep. I believe in freedom. <laughs> that's the oldest profession in the world. And I believe what two consenting adults do for money, their own business. I'm not a tyrant like you. <laughs> It just needs to, well, whatever. I ain't going to even get into that. It needs to be regulated. It needs to just be regulated. We need to come up. We need to regulate these homosexuals. Like, any common decent person would know this is inappropriate. At first, yeah. it sounds like adults having fun. <laughs> like, it sounds no, wrong from they, the start, No, but these homos trick me. <laughs> no, that's wrong from the start. It's not adults having fun. To go out in public wearing in your underwear on the public transportation? You call this adults having fun? What's you, wrong with you? You know what, I was wrong, and you're right. Now, if adults want to have a party wearing underwear in the house yeah. for Halloween, I'm all for it. Yeah, you can but have. But you bring it outside in front of kids. Yeah. It's going to turn this to kids' minds because they don't have the capacity to understand what's going on. Yeah. Pretty best some kids like that kid on, on the train. Oh, man, all those people should get at least. Being decent exposure. Well, um, you can't get them for that. Well, what's the other one? Uh, you can only get them for that if there's like. Someone. Indecent. Um, you got to flash them. Indecent right? ball flashing. Well, nobody pulled their balls out. No, you ain't got to pull them out. Them big old juggling balls, and then you see phalluses. Just behind it, and it's, and it's all tight. Anybody try to see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. They're wearing tights. I know there's puddles of semen on there. I know there was, because homos, they can't control themselves. Well, you know what, Keith? Let me say this, man. I ain't got nothing against these homos. I ain't got nothing against no homo, right? But <laughs> what I do have a pro. What's so funny? Go ahead, Cal. Man, stop laughing. Look, let me start off. Look, no, don't start off. You need to say what the hell you gonna say and I'm say gonna it. I'm gonna say if you shut up. Look, I ain't got nothing against no homo, right? <laughs> Why you keep laughing? Why are you saying that? Say it's a joke to you. Get like I was say. saying, look, I don't have a problem. <laughs> Against these homos. <laughs> hey, man, you ain't saying nothing. Would you stop laughing at me, man? <laughs> How many times are you going to say that? Look, I believe in freedom. I ain't got nothing against a homo, right? right. What a homo wants to do, a homo can do. <laughs> right? But these homos... They need to have a boundary. If you don't give these people restrictions, a boundary, they, you you have these homos out in the street 
uh, jerking off, squirting semen everywhere. <laughs> The only reason why they're not doing it is yeah. because they get arrested. But if yeah. they can't get arrested for it, they're going to do it. Like, I don't even know why the city of Phoenix allowed this to happen. I mean, seriously. Well, you know, every huge metropolitan area is, you know, is, is liberal. Yeah. Well, it's not liberal. It's progressive. Democrats. So yeah, yeah. I see why. Yeah, it's, it's progressive. Try this on a small town. <laughs> Gonna get you. They gonna come in that song. You just tried this shit in a small time. <laughs> you gonna be playing in the background. <laughs> hey, we got a new giveaway going in ends this month. We give on a Ford yeah. F three fifty and ten thousand yeah, in cash. No, man, them whole moves gonna burn in hell. At the end of the win, go to fisherhogstwins dot com. Anything you buy from the psychic, you automatically enter the win. I just don't get it, man. What's wrong with these homos, man?